nothing? Father. Let me lean on you. Let me lean on you. This is a tribute to all of us. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Say it again. Father. Father. Let me lean on you. Let me lean on you. First, uh, let me begin by saying Happy Father's Day yes. to all of the fathers under the sound of my voice. Yes. Uh, Brother Senegal called me this morning and uh. he told me to be sure to tell all of the fathers from him and his wife Happy Father's Day. Yes. Uh, I want to say that it is indeed a pleasure and quite an honor to share a word with you from the Word of God on this day. As we celebrate all of the fathers all over the world. Now there are several scriptures that I'd like to share with you this morning. And please don't get discomforted because I call quite a few scriptures, but if you have a pencil, and you want to write them down so that you know uh, where I'm coming from today. We'll be reading from uh, Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 4. And we'll be reading from St. Luke chapter 15 verses 17 through 19 and verse 31 of that same book and chapter. We'll be also reading from the book of Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 6. And we'll be reading finally, I believe, from the book of Isaiah chapter 43, verses 1 and 2, and a portion of verse 3. First, from the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, and verse 4, and this is how it reads, And you, Father, Somebody say fathers. fathers. Provoke not your children to wrath, uh -huh. but bring them up in the nurture or training and admonition of the Lord. Amen. Now, if you turn to the book of St. Luke, chapter 15, verses 17 through 19, and it reads, and when he came to himself, yeah. he said, How many hired servants of my father's have bread enough to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, somebody uh -huh. say father, uh -huh. and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of your hired servants. Mm -hmm. Now verse 31 from the New International Version and it reads, My son, the father said, you are always with me. Uh -huh. And everything I have is yours. Yeah. Now from the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 6. And it reads, one God mm -hmm. and Father, somebody say Father, Father. of all. Through all, and through all, and in you all. And in you all. Our final scripture today comes from the book of Isaiah 43. Chapter 43 and verses 1 and 2 and a portion of verse 3. 
and I'll be reading from the New International Version. And it reads, but now, this is what the Lord says. He who created you, O Jacob, who he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God. Before I get into the topic for this morning, Father, let me lean on you. Let me begin by stating what a father is according to Webster's Dictionary. Webster simply states that a father is a male parent, a man who has begotten a child. Now I know that there's a lot of conversation and discussion and disagreements about what really makes a father. But in re reality, a father is simply a male parent, a man who has begotten a child. Mm -hmm. Spiritually, father is the first person of the Trinity, That's right. God the Father. Jesus mentions him in the sixth chapter of Matthew when he was teaching his disciples to pray. When he said, Our Father, who art in heaven, isn't it good to know that he is the Father of us all? Amen. Amen. When we Look at one of our scriptural texts for today in Ephesians chapter 4. In verse 6 says, One God and Father of all and through all and in you all. He is our Father. When we speak of fathers, I mean good fathers, we find that they have certain characteristics, uh, if you would. Yeah. A good father, good father is a good disciplinarian. In other words, a good father will punish his child yes. when punishment is in order. Amen. Would you agree? Uh-huh. A good father won't punish his child out of anger. Thank you, Lord. Or in anger. Because that would provoke the child and it could mislead or misdirect the results of the punishment. So a good father has to be careful while he punishes his child. Hmm. That's why Paul said in Ephesians 6 and 4, and you fathers, as he gives instruction, provoke not your children to wrath. Right. Come on. Yes, sir. But he says, bring them up in the nurture or the training. Lord, help me today. Yes, <sighs> and in the admonition of the Lord, a good father, good father will let the child know that the punishment is not outrageous, well, is not unreasonable, yes, or improper. That's right. The 
punishment is given for your good. And it will help you in the long run. It will help you down the road. We're talking about a good father. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The writer, if we notice in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12 and verse 11, he says, now, no chastening mm -hmm. or no discipline, right, yeah. right. no punishment <laughs> for the present well, yeah. seems to be joyous. In other words, I'm not glad that I'm getting this punishment. All right, all right. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. It don't, for the present, it don't seem joyous, but grievous. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, the writer says, uh -huh. afterward, afterward, down the road sometimes, yeah, down the road. later on, uh -huh. it yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness yeah. unto them which are exercised thereby. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Some of the characteristics of a, a good, father good father include, but are not limited to, he allows his children to make mistakes. Would you agree? Thank you, Lord. A good father, he keeps an open mind. He teaches his children to appreciate things. Don't just get what you get and, and, and destroy it. Lord, help me today. But a good father will teach his children to appreciate things. Good father accepts the fact that his children aren't just like him. Thank you, Lord. Oh, glory to God. Well, a good father will spend quality time with his children. A good father leads by example. Say that. Say that. Say that. Right this time, somebody will say, Say that. Uh, are you praying with me? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But he leads by example. Yes, yes, yes. Say it. Good father yeah. is supportive and loyal. That's right. Good father. Good father. Yes, uh, good father uh, not to mention that he's empathetic. Yes. He's a provider yes. and a protector. Yes. Yes, yes. I'm talking about a good father. Yes, Are you praying with me? Yes. Glory yes. to God. Yes. Now, I haven't forgotten my subject, which is, Father, yeah. let me lean on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I looked up what it means to lean. Uh -huh. yeah. Webster tells us that to lean is to, to incline, deviate, uh -huh. or bend from a vertical position. Like when one leans oh boy, yeah. on the back of a chair. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. yeah, so when I lean on the pool bed, uh -huh. thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. From a vertical position, right. to lean can be to cast one's weight to one side for support. Yeah. Yeah. Like when you say, lean on me uh -huh. as I walk. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Mm, to lean can mean to rely on uh -huh. for support or inspiration. Yeah. Father, let me lean on you. Yeah. Now, I also know that there are a lot of things that can cause us to lean or want to lean. Most time we want to lean on something 
or someone when we get tired, uh -huh. yeah. when we get run down, uh -huh. or just fed up. Uh -huh. mm. Sport, sports figures. Uh -huh. I don't care which sport you choose. You'll notice at the end of a race, if it's track and field, after a 1,500 meter run or a triathlon, you notice the runners or the contestants leaning on one another. Why? Well, it's because they are tired and they need somebody to lean on. Yeah. They need somebody to help hold them up after putting all they had into achieving their goal yeah. and reaching the finish line. Yeah. People of God, I must say, and while running this race through life, and I'm almost finished. Right mm, while running this race through life, there are times when we too get tired. Thank you, Jesus. Times when we too get run down. Times when we too get just fed up. Are you praying with me? Yes, we can get tired of fighting for racial equality. Tired of fighting to maintain the right to vote. Yeah. Tired of marching. Tired of fighting for strict the gun laws. Yeah. Tired of fighting for affordable health care. Yeah. Yes, we do get tired of trials and tribulations. Yeah. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Get tired of disappointments. And we need something or somebody that we can lean on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, while listening to spiritual music the other day, are you praying with me? I happened to hear a couple of songs that may have prompted the motive or grounds for this message. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one was by Helen Miller. Yeah, yeah. And it simply said, Jesus said, if you lean on me, I won't let you fall. Uh, yes, yes, yes. If you just lean on me. The song went on to say, I will bear your burden if you lean on me. The song continued, I know how to bear your burdens. You can lean on me. When your load gets heavy, you can lean on me. I won't let you fall if you just lean on me. Went on to say, you don't have to worry if you lean on me. The song ends with, I won't let you fall. Thank you, Lord. If you just lean on me. The other song was sung by Lee Williams and the Spiritual QC. Oh, glory. And its title is I've Learned to Lean. Lord, have mercy. Sometimes we have to learn how to lean. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've learned to lean. Now in this song, Lee Williams said, I've learned to lean and depend on Jesus. 
rest in his everlasting arms. Yes. He went on to say, and if I trust him, uh -huh. he will provide. Yes. I've learned to lean uh -huh. on him. Yes. Now in this song, Brother William seemed to realize that he had gotten tired, uh -huh. run down, yeah. and probably fed up with the way things were going in his life. Yeah. And he knew he needed something or yeah. someone yeah. to lean on. Yeah. Yeah. Are you praying with me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Something or someone that he yeah. could that could hold him up yeah. and keep him yeah. Yeah. from falling. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. the song says that he thought about his job. Yeah. But he ended up yeah. losing yeah. the job. Yeah. So the song yeah. said, yeah. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Yeah. He went to his mother. Yeah. All right. Won't we do that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With everything, Lord help me today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So he went to his mother. And explain to her, Somebody and I up. quote, <laughs> job be gone. <laughs> That's what he said, job be gone. <laughs> and I need somebody yeah, yeah. I can lean on. Yeah, yeah. So the son said, his mother told him, said, come on, son. Yeah. You can lean on me. Yeah. All right. yeah. All Thank right. you, Jesus. Yeah. But he said, Mother got sick. Ah, yeah. And he couldn't lean on Mother oh. anymore. Yeah. So he said, He went to his father. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, this, I assume, was his biological father. Yeah. And his biological father said, Come on, son. All right, all right. You can lean on me. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Oh, glory. But Brother Williams went on to say in the song that his biological father uh -huh. forgot to tell him uh -huh. that he, the father, yeah. had to die. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. And go away and leave him. Uh -huh. And at this point, Bro, William said he didn't have nobody to lean on. All right, all right. Lord, help us today. Yes. Are you praying with me? Yes, so finally, he said in the song, he went to his pastor. All right. <laughs> Y'all can come to me anytime. <laughs> Call me anytime, day or night. So, Bro, William said he went to his pastor. Yeah. yeah. And he explained to him that he didn't have anybody to lean on. And his pastor said to him, listen, son, what you need to do is fall down on your knees. Call on Jesus. Oh, have mercy. You need to get in touch with your heavenly father. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Listen, let me touch on uh, our scriptural text for today. In Luke chapter 15, verses 17 through 19, uh, and verse 31. And this is one, and I know you're familiar with it, so I won't go through it verse by verse, but listen, this was one of Jesus' familiar parables. Uh -huh. Where he was attempting to show how important a single lost soul, yeah. a single lost child yeah. is to a loving parent, yeah. to a loving father, yeah. a good father, in verse 17, verses 17 through 19, we see a troubled soul.
son yeah. who had become tired, uh -huh. run down, yeah. fed up oh. with the way he was living. Yeah. Fed up with the condition he had gotten himself into. Yeah. He was at the point of falling. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Yeah. What he really needed was somebody to lean on. Lord, help me today. Yes, he came to the realization that the only one that he could trust, the only one that he could depend on, the only one that he could lean on. Somebody say lean on me. Lord have mercy. The only one that, he, that could hold him up was his father. Somebody say father. Oh glory. So he decided to go to his father and tell him in so many words, Father, I need somebody I can lean on. This loving Father, this good Father, said in so many words, Come on, son, you can lean on me. Help me say, Father, let me lean. On you. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, glory. Yes. My subject again is Father. Oh, yes. Let me lean on you. Yes. And I'm not talking about an earthly father, oh, but I'm talking about our heavenly father. Yes. Lord have mercy. Which brings me to our final text. Yes. Yeah, in Isaiah 43, 1 through 2, 1 and 2, and portion of verse 3. Yes. But, now, but now, thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. Oh, glory. But before I get there, because there was another brother, uh -huh. an older brother, yes. yes, who was upset with the attention that his younger brother was getting. Yes. And so... Uh, this loving father yeah. and this is what a father will do yeah. he'll deal with uh, every child yeah. in a special way yeah. why because he loves all of his children yeah. he's not going to show more love to one than he does for the other yeah. if I give to one yeah. I'm going to give to the other yeah. one so this loving father had to deal with the older brother. Thank you, Jesus. This father, uh, glory to God, had to remind his eldest son. In verse 31, he said, my son, oh glory, you are always with me. And every Say that yeah. everything I have everything. is yours. Yeah. Oh, glory. In other words, you always have somebody that you can lean on, yeah. that you can depend on. Yeah. I'm always here for you. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. And in our last text, and I'm going to be finished in Isaiah chapter 43. Yeah. It reads, but now, but now, but now, this is what the Lord says. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, glory to God. Father, let me lean on you. Yeah. Uh, this is what the Lord says. He who created you, yeah. uh -huh. oh, Jacob, yeah. uh -huh. he who formed you, yeah. oh, his rule, yeah. yeah. fear not, yeah. because I have redeemed you. Yeah. I've summoned you by name. Yeah. You are mine. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. Sure. Listen, when you pass through the waters, yeah, I'll be there. our Father, yeah. our Heavenly Father, yeah. said I'll be with you. Yeah. When you pass through difficult times, yeah. 
shall be with you. He said, when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Why? Because I am the Lord your God. Let me lean. Yeah. Lean. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 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 Yes.